and uh, Leroff in the finale. Angel's advocate broke like a shot, and she goes right to the lead. Worthy of Magic presses her in the early stages. Those two together as they charge into the turn. Worthy of Magic, Catalino Martinez wants her in front. She's got the lead. Angel's advocate's going to take back and track from second in her first career out try. She's about two lengths clear of work to live in third. Belio's Forest on her tail. Nadi Nadine is next, followed by Bandina Ascendancy. She's a runaway second to last as one horse beaten. Hardly mischievous. The Southern California shipper can see them all about a dozen lengths behind Worthy of Magic, who leads the parade in the finale. Worthy of Magic by about a length here. Angel's Advocate on the outside now in the two-path, tracking on the tail of the leader. She's still a length and a half or two ahead of work to live. Belio's Forest still in the clear on the outside, racing alone in fourth. A length and a half in front of Naughty Day Dean. Bandina next. She's a runaway, joins her. Ascendancy stays on the rail with that duo. Those three across the track into the far turn run and hardly mischievous still at the back as they round the far turn worthy of magic five sixteenths to go three quarters of a length ahead angels advocate goes okay in the second spot work to live tries to get closer three wide naughty nadine off the leading trio who line up and here comes ascendancy now ascendancy is launching a rally coming with a strong run can she get through ascendancy yes she can ascendancy comes charging forward has to get to naughty nadine on the far outside who got the jump. Ascendancy is charging. Naughty Nadine. Ascendancy right through on the inside under Francisco Monroy. And Ascendancy wins the nightcap. Naughty Nadine second. Work to live third. Worthy of magic fades to fourth. And Bandino is fifth to round out the high five.